This is my Christmas tree. There's a lot like it, but this one's mine. We've collected a lot of decorations over the years. Weird ones, fun ones, ones from a memory, but not enough bike stuff. So today I'm going to change that. This was pretty close, nice shiny spanner, but it was just far too heavy. I got pretty close with this Nog light. Uh, it's very bright, very shiny, but just a little bit too much. I got even further away when I decided to put this rather festive white wheel. And then while trying out one of my favorite ideas, which is just putting a chain on as like tinsel, I came up with a really good idea. And here it is, my chain Christmas star. And this is how I made it. So firstly, I took the shiniest chain that I had. And this was an old SRAM one that has probably only been used a couple of times. And then just kind of put it into the star shape so I could work out how many links I needed to kind of cut out. And um, it's roughly like five links or 10 sections, depending on how you count the chain. Um, but I always say do this first and then you can work out exactly how many you need from that. And then with your favorite chain tool, start removing the link. It's important not to remove it completely. Make sure you just leave it just on the edge. Um, I didn't quite put it through just enough, so I had to use like a screwdriver to like jimmy it all the way off like this. Then to make it easy for yourself, push the link right up to the edge. Like again, make sure it doesn't come all the way out because it's an absolute to get back in. And there you have it. You can then connect it into your circle and then pop it back into your chain tool and lock it back up. Then once you've done that, you should have the smallest of chains. At this point, all the tutorials online tell you to put it into a star shape then you super glue to kind of keep it in the star shape but I've got a better idea so to stop the loose links being loose I basically go back with the chain tool and remove the link just a touch then flip it round and push the link back into place so now you should have some tougher links and then your loose ones, you just go around and finish them off, just popping out a little bit and then pushing it back in again to make it all tight. At this point, you should have your chain nice and tight and you can start folding it into the star shape, which is way easier said than done. Um, I'd probably say practice with a loose chain a couple of times just so you know exactly which way the folds go. Because as soon as it's tight like this, it is a little bit tricky, which you will now see. And there it is. Little shiny twinkling chain star. But it could be shinier. So I use some WD-40 to kind of get any kind of grease and old oil off of it. And then use some muck off to then remove the WD-40. For hanging, I use some brake cable. And the plan was to crimp it shut of this, but as you probably already guessed, it was too small. So I had a backup idea. But first I cut the cable down to the desired length. I tried to put the cable end on, but it just obviously didn't fit. So I gave up on that and used the end off one of the hoses instead, which worked quite well. And then crimped it down. And that is one chain star for your tree. I'm pretty happy how this came out. I actually ended up making a bunch of these and giving them away from presents as well. So if you're struggling with someone, 
give them a star thank you so much for sticking around to the end it really means a lot and if you really enjoyed what you just watched please give it a like um, I do weekly bike related videos they're normally a lot more bike related than Christmas decorations so if you enjoy what you're watching uh, please subscribe 